small watermelons. This is Ethel Russell here, bringing you this quick video to show you this crazy contraption that I have made. It is a fully automatic Minecraft difficulty sensor or detector, or whatever you want to call it. And it detects easy, normal, and hard. It doesn't detect peaceful because I thought peaceful you don't really need because it's a difficulty detector and peaceful, you know, isn't really a difficulty. All right. So the first thing you're going to do when you walk into this building here, when you spawn into the building or whatever, you're going to put all of your items into this chest here. And just put them in this chest. That's, that's what you need to do. Put them in the chest. Then you're going to sleep in this bed if it was night. And if it's not, then you're probably going to want to change the time to night because you want to set your spawn here. And once you have done that, make sure you are not in creative like I am there we go and then you're gonna want to walk over here make sure you're on a difficulty I am on hard and you walk over here and you walk into this little room here and then it's gonna tell you to close the gate so close the gate and then the zombie's gonna spawn in and kill you now don't punch the zombie because it will mess up the whole detection and then once you respawn and you turn around you'll see right here that it does indeed detect your difficulty. And if you don't believe me, <laughs> then you can download the world in the description below because that's really the only way that you're probably going to believe me if you're a skeptic or something. You, you're probably only going to believe this if you actually download it and play in the world. So once you have done this, maybe you want to try a different difficulty. So you're going to switch to easy, let's say, or normal, whatever. And you come over here, and you click the reset button. This is going to reset the whole machine. And now you have to remember to press this reset button, or else this is not going to work. You have to press the reset button every time you want to detect a new difficulty. And then you just sit here and you wait. You can wait for this block to retract and you hear this little sound of note blocks. And once that happens, there we go. You want to make sure you're on your difficulty that you want. And then once again, you walk in, you close the gate, and then you're going to get killed by a zombie. And now, again, do not punch the zombie or else this will mess up the whole detection. You're going to want to respawn, and you look behind you, and as you see right here, it is on easy. And for some of you out there, maybe you did see it, but the normal light was on for just a little bit. And that is because it's just detecting everything, and it has to process everything. And then once it's processed, then it will bring up your actual difficulty. So as you can see, it is easy. Now I'm going to show you what actually happens behind the scenes. So I'm going to press the reset button and then I'm going to go outside and show you what's happening. So right here is the whole mechanism behind this whole thing. And this is the main thing right here. And it's a piston tape. It's basically a timer. And this block will time how much you, how much time you've been in there in this it's this room with the zombie because on different difficulties zombies will kill you faster or slower and the faster the shorter the block is going to go and the slower then the farther the block is going to go and so if you're on an easy difficulty it's going to take longer to kill you than on a hard difficulty and that's the only reason why I can detect your difficulty without having you press a button. And as you can see, this is the full contraption here. And this took me a really long time to build. So if you want to try it out, go ahead and download it. The link to the download is in the description below. Check it out. You can try and figure out how to recreate this. I'm not going to do a tutorial on it. One quick thing is that if you are in if you go into this little box area here and then you you have been killed and then you respawn and none of the lights are on 
then that means you need to come out here and you're gonna need to press this button right here and that's just gonna reset the detection for the pressure plate that's in there and then once you do that then it's going to show you your difficulty and that's all there really is to it you can again like I said you can download this world try and figure out how to recreate it and maybe incorporate it into your own builds I'm just gonna patch this back up and there we go and that's what I wanted to show you guys hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching this is FM Wrestle and I'm signing off see you next time Bye.